Hello friends, in this video we will learn about connections in uh, information design tool. The theory section I have already covered, the link for that uh, video is available in this video description. Uh, if you want to learn about connections, how connections are and what are the different connections uh, types in uh, information design tool. So you can go through that video first. In this video, I will be showing you practically how we can create uh, connections uh, in the information design tool. So this is a information design tool uh, which I have opened. I have created uh, one a test project which I have shown you in an earlier video. Now, uh, if I click on right click on here on this project, you will get an option of relational connection, OLAP connection. Uh, so there are two options for connections relational is for just relational databases OLAP connections which if you want to connect to the OLAP cubes so for now I'll be selecting a relational connection uh, we'll be giving a, a connection name here I can add some description if you uh, if you want this is relational okay so once you click on next, you will see different different uh, mid, uh, drivers uh, to which we can connect. Like if you see uh, Amazon, Apache, Cloudera, and all those things, IBM, um, Microsoft, Oracle, Postgres, SAP as well. So in SAP, if you say um, SAP ERP, SAP HANA database, we can connect. And we have Sybase as well. So for now, means I will be selecting a Microsoft uh, SQL Server 2008. So JDBC, ODBC, let's uh, select OLEB, uh, DB uh, uh, providers. Once you select means uh, OLEDB providers, it will ask for the username and password with the servers and database. So let's select it. I have selected that. I'll click on next. So once I click means we need to give uh, user and ID and password. So I will just enter that. And one of the test database we have means let's uh, connection successful. Uh, so connection uh, means how much time we need to uh, keep this connection active when we are in uh, working on a, a project. So 10 minutes, array base size, array bind, bind size, uh, login timeout, 600 seconds like that. Uh, this is the connected parameters. If you uh, need to add any parameters here, uh, specific to connection means uh, there is some specific uh, values which we uh, need to provide while uh, deploying the connections to the production. So uh, that we can add it here and just click on finish. So once we are uh, having, we, we clicked on this uh, test connection means it got created dot CNX. So this is an, a local connection which got created. So now if you if you want to make it as a secure connection how we can do it means if you click on this you will see the details of this uh, connections everything whatever uh, we have mentioned here uh, so edit change driver we can test the connection as well from here uh, with username and password it is shown here so if you see this extension uh, is dot cnx that means it is a local connection it is not uh, published to the repository so to publish uh, to the repository, what we need to do, uh, we need to uh, publish connection to a repository so that it will be a secured connection. So let's add this repository. I'm just adding a repository uh, and we'll, we'll just say, uh, I will add it in a re relational connection and just uh, say, uh, finish so it will once it get published successfully it will ask for to create a connection shortcut in the same fo local folder to reference this so we can create a, a same look connection folder shortcut so if you see this is a local connection so to publish a business layer to a repository we need to how to have secured connection so if you don't have secured connection if you just have this is local connection then it will not allow us to publish uh, the universe to the repository okay so this is uh, about uh, connecting uh, test uh, connections uh, now once we have these connections we can create a data foundation 
and the business layer so i'll be showing you this uh, data foundation in the next uh, unit video practically uh, once i cover theory section about data foundation and then business layer so three steps uh, to create a data uh, universe like first is creating a connection be it a re relational connection or olap cubes and the second one is second step is creating a data foundation if you have relation connection will we will have the data foundation if we don't have relational connection if we have olap cube then we will directly have one connection and uh, business layer so only two step required when we have olap connection because in olap we already have the olap cubes already developed it's the same structure has been in the data foundation so i will be showing you how the data foundation uh, can be created and then uh, data foundation is nothing but joining the different different tables from the schema like it's a schema design and then based on the data foundation we can create a business layer so so this is this is about uh, this connections if you see means um, when i publish this uh, from the uh, repository so let me see means if it is got published here if you see this uh, this is a repository so whatever the connections are there available in a repository that will show up here when uh, the one connection which i published from here it, it has been appeared here so now this connection can be accessed by other users like if if you have any colleagues who is developing the universe they can also con connect to this connection and they can build the data foundation that means a universe so this is all about uh, connection a local connection is dot cns and secure connection is uh, dot cns i hope you have understood this concept if you have any questions or any suggestions on this please uh, put it in the comment section if you like my video then please like it please subscribe to my channel so that you will get to know about my next unit video thank you for watching